So Memorial Hall is a tribute to all of the soldiers and airmen and sailors that have attended BYU or that have graduated from BYU and have been killed in action. It's a special room to us because it shows a lot of the reasons why we do what we're doing. And I really decided to do something for these names because I saw myself in their shoes. They were students, they were gaining an education, they were young, they were excited about life. I decided that I wanted to somehow pay a tribute to, to all of them, make sure that they're not forgotten. It didn't start out as, as a big, huge project. I just decided to pay tribute to these men. And as it went on, I got more ideas of how I could do that. I, I created a blog where I started documenting all the names I was running for. I started writing about who they were and what they did and how they served us. I feel connected to these heroes when I run because I'm thinking about them and I'm trying to do something for them by giving a little extra of my time. Hopefully I can come close to, to appreciating them. One of the most inspiring stories is Billy Hewish. He was in a bomber in World War II and he was shot down and his crew was able to parachute and he was able to survive the crash but they all landed in Belgium. They looked around and they, they actually found some resistance fighters and they got with them and they started planning on how they could get home, on how they could disrupt the war effort. They really went above and beyond. After a couple of days of hiding out in a farm, they were actually turned in by, by a collaborator. 30 or 40 people from that town were sent to concentration camps but the American soldiers were all taken to a nearby field and, and executed. That's why I write each initial on my arm. That's why I run one mile for each person. These were all great men, and they were all doing amazing things in hard times. And any time of war, there's going to be hard times ahead, but we can face those just like these men have. We can face those with courage and with optimism and with selflessness and try and make the world a better place.